Brigadier General Ishao Ahmed, accusing the governor-elect of Enugu State, Peter Mba, of the People's Democratic Party, of possessing a fake NYSC certificate has gained attention in the court of public opinion. But what compatriot needs to know at this point is that this plot is being implemented from outside Enugu State. This scheme is bizarre, to say the least, particularly when it is well known that the, document, the, that the documents candidates submit to the Independent National Electoral Commission are subjected to intense screening, including the various law enforcement agencies doing background checks and vetting of candidates. We gathered that the amount of money that the Imo State Governor, with some other vested interests, funneled to him was so that he was unable to resist. However, what is expected is for him to have rejected the billions that was allegedly given to him to excuse this, execute this plot. He ought to have considered national interest since what the money was allegedly meant for will jeopardize the country. This turn of event is something that should scare Nigerians because the NYC can now disown the certificate is issued to people once the price is right. It also implies that anyone aspiring to public office is at the risk of being victimized and lied against by the NYSC. The update we got is that Udo, Uzo Dima hopes to repeat his leverage of the Supreme Court to keep himself in office as governor of Imo State in what many have described as a technical victory since he was neither the winner nor the first runner up in the election he stole to occupy the office. We are concerned that Uzo Dima will export his criminality to the national level if he is allowed to get away with this usurpation of public office. Nigerians must think of the implication of people like Uzo Dima using senior officials of the NYC to steal public mandates. It means the nation will one day get to the point where votes will no longer count because some criminal-minded people have perfected how to abuse government institutions for hijacking power.